Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you come in there and set that camera up and, uh, and all of this lighting. Um, I suppose I probably should introduce myself. My name's, my name's Tinny, um, and uh, if you can't tell by the uh, accent, I'm an Australian. Um, and uh, I'm a gamer. Yeah, I've been, I've been gaming pretty much my entire life. Uh, I started on board games, uh, the sort of the mainstream board games, I suppose you'd say, and then, uh, you know, video games as I uh, got a bit older, and then uh, role-playing games in high school uh, and university, and then after university, I suppose I really started getting into, I suppose, what you'd call the Euro board games. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a bit of a problem. Um, I, my, my work has recently gotten me to move away from my... Uh, my regular gaming group, which was in, in Melbourne, if you're not familiar with Melbourne, it's a very large uh, city, uh, or at least when it comes to Australia, it's a large city. Um, and now I'm living in, uh, in sort of regional New uh, South Australia, uh, in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I'm having a bit of difficulty uh, networking, finding, uh, finding new gamers. I've, 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 I suppose I've converted my wife and uh, she's playing more board games with me. Um, and I've gotten some people from work uh, on board as well, um, but I suppose I'm, I'm not I'm not gaming as much as I used to, or uh, or as much as I'd like to. Um, and I've I've been uh, recently trying to trying to uh, find a way around that. So in, in trying to uh, solve this problem, I've I've started spending more time online. I've been going through uh, some online game forums, um, mostly through Board Game Geek and uh, RPG Geek, um, and um, I've been spending a lot of time on YouTube, uh, watching a lot of uh, board game related videos, um, you know, things like uh, The Dice Tower and uh, Board Games with Scott when that was running before, um, and Two Guys and Some Cardboard, which is another really good new one if, uh, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, and recently, um, say within the last couple of weeks, I was, uh, I was looking online, I, I came across this series um, called Watch It Played um, with Rodney Smith. and. Um, Watching these videos, and um, if you haven't seen them, I really, really do suggest you uh, you check them out. They are they're they're really something else. He's uh, mm, he's got a real love for board games, and um, and he and he does this show with his with his kids where he sort of explains the board game to you. It, it's it starts similarly to a lot of other review shows where they you know they run through how the, like how the game is played, I suppose, and and the componentry of the game. But then they really go a lot further than that, and they actually play through the game, and they'll. They'll usually, or they'll either go a turn, a turn a video, uh, or they will um, have a, have a couple of turns in a video, and then the the thing that really really captured my uh, my interest was they he he actually engages with his with his YouTube public and and has them submit moves for um, for people for uh, other players in the game, and it was that uh, that aspect the, the the having the online interaction. Uh, that, that really uh, captured me and, uh, and it, was, it was something that, that got me to, to watch through them. I, I only recently came acro across the videos and so I've, I've been sort of voraciously uh, watching as many as I can um, and now, <laughs> now, that I've, now that I've come into it he's, uh, he's gone on, on a holiday with his wife but you know, I suppose we can't begrudge him that. So Rodney's series really got me thinking uh, that maybe, uh, maybe I could do something uh, along the same lines or, 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 or use his idea to, uh, to to play a, a bit, to have a bit more gaming. Um, so what I've done is I've um, I've taken inspiration from it, or I suppose uh, directly plagiarised uh, his idea. And so uh, what I'm what I've done is I've, um, I've I'm going to set up a game on this end. I, I've put an invitation up on my Facebook page for my Facebook friends um, to possibly join me uh, in playing this game via video. Um, so they can uh, email me moves. Uh, they will get to play a character in the game. Uh, on a first come first serve basis, and um, we'll play through uh, this whole game. So hopefully um, the whole thing uh, goes goes well, and we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully we get some other people uh, who I don't know off Facebook uh, coming in and watching the video and commenting on the video, and you know uh, offering advice and things like that. I I, I live in hope. Um, so we'll we'll just we'll see how it goes it's a bit of a new experience for me it's a bit of an experiment for me um i haven't ever done anything like this before so uh we'll we'll see how it goes um so so which game which game to play um from my from my collection it was a, it was a, it was a tough choice to make and uh, so i i thought about it for a while and and i thought what what game could i do uh to sort of that exemplifies this bold sort of new adventure that i'm going to go on from like because it, it is it really is an adventure for me trying to do these kind of things um, so 
um, through the magic of, uh, of poor video editing. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this to happen. Okay. So, so the game we'll be, well, I'll be setting up and playing is HeroQuest. Now if, you, uh, if you're not familiar with HeroQuest, um, it's a game from the, uh, from the late 80s, uh, I think uh, 1989 it came out. Um, it's a collaboration between, um, between Milton Bradley um, and Games Workshop. Um, obviously you can see that Games Workshop holds a special place in my, uh, in my uh, gaming history, but um, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a game where you play um, uh, as a character, as a, a fantasy sort of uh, archetype character. Uh, and going on a, on a dungeon crawl, it's probably the archetypal dungeon crawl uh, board game. Um, and one of the characters, or one of the people playing the game, uh, will play the uh, the dark wizard, or the evil wizard, who is controlling all the enemies that the other characters will be playing against. Um, I'll be uh, in the, for the purposes of this. I'll, I'll be playing the dark wizard or the evil wizard. I'll be I'll be controlling the monsters. So um, the the whichever players I get on board will be playing the characters. Um, so uh, yeah, I suppose the the reason, one of the main reasons why I chose this game, uh, is simply because of the history it holds with me. Um, I I think I first played this game when I was about um, six or seven, um, and it it was a game that just really wowed me when I played it. Um, it was such a different uh, experience playing this game compared to uh, any other board game I'd played before that. It it really got my mind working. It, it opened up uh, this whole new idea for me because I, I was always into fantasy sort of literature when, even when I was very young, um, and it really opened up this idea that you could you could craft your own story in this in this world. And um, I suppose it was probably the first my first step towards uh, towards role playing is, is playing this game. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll um, I'll give you a quick rundown of the characters that you have the choice of playing, um, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so there's there's four characters you can choose from to play in the game. Um, or at least there would normally be. Um, since filming the first part of the video, I've actually had a confirmation from one of my gaming friends in Melbourne that he wants to play along. So, and he's already chosen his character. So he will be playing uh, the Barbarian. Um, this character is a uh, obviously a, a great combatant. Um, he's not magical in any way, but he'll be uh, someone who can stand up the front and take a lot of a lot of hits um, and dish out some real damage. So, so we've already the uh, Barbarian has already been taken off the table. The second one I'd like to show you is the uh, the dwarf. So this is the first first option for anyone who wants to play. Is the dwarf? Now um, the dwarf is also another good uh, combatant. Um, he also has a special ability that allows him to search for traps um, a lot more effectively and disarm traps a lot more effectively than anybody else. So uh, that's the dwarf. Another option to play is the wizard. The uh, the wizard is obviously quite obviously a spellcaster. Um, he's the he he has the best uh, abilities with magic. Uh, he's a little bit soft. He can't really take a lot of hits from from monsters close up, but um, he can definitely dish out some real hurt with his spells. So uh, he's another option for you. And the final option is the elf. Now the elf is a uh, is sort of a hybrid class between a fighting class and a uh, and a spellcaster. He gets he gets one type of spell that he can cast, or three different types of spell within one spell uh, type group, and uh, and he can also fight a little bit. So he's uh, not a bad option for those who are uh, interested in in having uh, more sort of uh, choices in the game. Um, now if, you, if you're screaming out for more information on this game, I'm sort of deliberately keeping it a bit vague. There is a lot of information out there and I will be going through um, the setup and the basics of the game in the next video, um, but I just sort of really want people to make their decisions based on the archetypes that they'll be playing rather than the specifics of mechanics or, or gameplay or anything like that. So, so I guess I'll sign out here. Um, yeah, hopefully I get some I get some bites and, uh, and this will go somewhere. So thank you for watching, um, and hopefully I'll see you soon down the track.